Sega. Hello again, everyone. Shadow of Blackbird Seven X here, back with more blind playthrough of Sonic Lost World for Nintendo Wii U. And here, and I am here, of course, with the post commentary right here. So here we are, right now, on this. I'm gonna be getting just a little over 25% past, and part 25% actually through um, the levels of Sonic Lost World. As you can see here, we're now in the more beach-themed, oceanside-themed, tropical coast, of course, given all the, of course, uh, Mario Galaxy-inspired uh, um, layouts here, a bunch of, uh, of course, weird uh, gravity landmasses. As uh, you can see, of course, one of the returning, another will be, you can now see one of the returning wisps here, as well as one of the classic, one of the, of course, seeing all the classical enemies from, from the Hedgehog series. And right there, had a tough luck with that crab meat, interestingly, as uh, it seems that, of course, some of the enemies have their new kinds of perks here, especially those um, chicken robots, which, quite interestingly, uh, you can't attack them with a simple point attack, and as for that um, crab meat, seems to be quite um, impervious to homing attack and as well as spin dash. However, as I will, as I, as I will uh, figure out later, perhaps I don't think I would show in this little blind playthrough of mine um, that uh, he's not impervious to Sonic's kick attacks, which, as I mentioned probably many times before, instead of using the A button on the gamepad to do a regular homing attack, use the B button while you're locked onto an enemy to do a little kicking motion. And here we meet another one of uh, Dr. Eggman's more generic creations, the egg pawns, to hit uh, homing attack there. And right there, it's probably my first <laughs> uh, use of the kick, as you can see there. So trying to figure out how actually how the kick works in the process. Got a little mini challenge right there. Now, when I was trying to learn how to do the kick, the kick moves to the homing attack, I thought it would require that you have to do a homing attack and then press the B button when, uh, when, uh, um, before, prior to making contact. So here in this part of level, as you can see here, um, Doc getting trapped, getting trapped, found Sonic getting trapped in one of those little bird-shaped robots, those hollow-shaped robot things, which I thought they were like, traps. Kind of freaked out there when it's about to, when it was a single explosion, but uh, as a matter of fact, it's actually the medium used to take down a good number, a good number of the enemies here, as well as those little chicken robots, which seem to be very, as I said earlier, impervious to um, regular attacks. Now, uh, right here, I just realized, and I didn't know at this moment, that uh, you could actually go up those little whirlpools, and they'll lead you to the higher places in the game, so... And as you can see there, I got caught from one of the worms while utilizing the drill. So, yeah, so I, was thinking, so I was thinking from this point that there would be some sort of path um, that involves the drill. So, right now, as you could probably see in the next, I don't know how long I would say, I would say I'll be stuck here for a while. But, uh, right now, I'm just essentially stuck and just still uh, experimenting and figuring out how the little kick works. A couple of homing attacks in the process. A lot of time to waste, unfortunately. Um, but, uh, essentially, in these levels, the tr with the trill, this is probably one of the this is probably one of the levels where the trill is actually quite pointless. It's actually more of a probably more uh, uh, fancier turn, some of a red herring of sorts. It doesn't necessarily lead you to anywhere except probably a, say a few extra lives and whatnot. Um, and for all you red ring finders, none of the none of the red rings involve the use of the trill to go underwater. So uh, it's kind of a relatively pointless when it comes to the completion level of it, except you know, say they're almost like my type, um, more towards towards or towards exploring than hastily going through the levels. 
have to go a little bit more in action and see how I'm supposed to use this little hollow ball shaped uh, bird like robot to probably smash a couple of groups of enemies along the way. Hope the music to also go along a little too once again. I haven't mentioned it before, uh, all composed by uh, uh, Tough Luck there, just kind of rushed myself. Uh, getting a couple of hits on those eggplants, realizing I don't have enough rings. And as I was saying, um, Garcia music once again. Although, 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 the, although, the, although this, this series, this series, this, uh, um, I'm really trying to get words here. Um, <laughs> this, um, episode of the Sonic Hedgehog, the, the main Sonic Hedgehog series is mostly uh, orchestral. I'm talking about some music here. And, uh, composed by none other than uh, Tomoya Otani, who also did or some of the notable songs in past Sonic Hedgehog, Sonic Hedgehog series of games, such as, say, um, Sonic Rider series, to run back in Sonic Sonic World Adventure, or, or probably for us English-speaking audiences, uh, English-speaking audiences here, Sonic Unleashed. So right now, I'm just figuring out from this point how exactly I'm supposed to go through levels. So probably from this point, I'm just figuring out, you know, probably could use the if I can guard enough speed, could make Sonic go up this wall, but uh, this seems the issue. And uh, there. I'm just trying to make up my mind. It's like, oh, there it is. I actually you could actually go through all those little uh, geysers and uh, go to the next side of the level. So that took a while. <laughs> so again, exploring the ground ends. And once again, we have a little another gimmick here involving those little butterflies which open. As you can see, right down the middle of this, uh, in the middle, it opens up. It's uh, this flower which you probably for Sonic to go to to the other side. And of course, following, picking up those little, uh, noticing those uh, numbered tokens, trying to find a way to try to uh, get them all in descending order to get extra life. Which is, of course, given that this, as I said before, this is the second update of. Sonic Lost World prior, this is an update prior to the the return of the 100 ring extra life system and of course those extra lives are uh, really really valuable when it comes to uh, trying to get through to, to the later levels without going insane and handling so many game overs in the process. <laughs> but to mention how challenging it is, I mean I really enjoyed the challenge of just, you know, completely uh, uh, no, avoiding the um, that uh, the hundred rings, the hundred ring extra life system no longer works, and just you know uh, going your way across. A lot of routes to take in this part of the level, and I didn't really see that catch that spike right there. Now, okay, we're not into that part yet, but back in the back in this update, and of course update before that, uh, this is one this one level tropical coast. Um, I was about to say tropical resorts, like it's not Sonic Colors. <laughs> tropical coast zone one is one of the ideal stages to get some extra lives, assuming that you don't find yourself uh, uh, caught, uh, falling or hurting yourself. Earlier in the level, and this is and this is probably the reason why. Right here in this part of the level, you get a ton of extra lives. Not only because here, this is the, probably the trickiest part of the level, considering this is all really precise cloud jumping and not actual uh, right down the ground. So as you can probably see there in the clouds ahead, or well, not not the first not the first row of clouds there. It consists of a on those enemies and extra life on the far right side on the far right cloud. Now as you can see right now the next row contains a bunch of extra lives and considering as I said before um, how the game here works if you don't that uh, unlike past Sonic games where if you pick up an extra life no matter where it is in the level if you pick up that one extra life that item, an item box with that extra life 
then if you pick up the item box again, it won't contain anything. As for here, I guess Sonic Team here was quite forgiving that, uh, you know, especially for the, you know, the more young, more casual players still trying to adjust to the game. But uh, this is another ideal, this is one of these ideal stages where, and as you can see there, that's what, that's the reason why I find it tricky. Um, that, yeah, this is one of the levels where you can get a ton of extra lives and it'll help you for the next couple levels. <laughs> Assuming you don't die too much as things obviously get a little trickier and harder. So I guess if I probably assume or guess correctly, probably the next several minutes are just me just getting as many lives as possible here. Now with with the with the latest update version three of the game, you can get a ton of extra lives just by intentionally following before before reaching the next checkpoint, just getting all the lives, all the extra lives here, those item boxes and those smaller circular clouds. Really taking my time, make sure I don't have Sonic fall again and uh, start over from the beginning. Although. In the end, I'll get some extra lives, and I fell down again. Although I probably had three more lives, more three more lives than last time, if just picking them up again. Gonna go a little, get a little pattern myself here. Get a couple of jumps for each cloud. <laughs> Not to be hypnotized by the interesting background from below. I'm probably just forgetting about that one extra life beside that one enemy. Now yeah, there's a red ring on that left side cloud over there. One of the more interesting places to find a red ring, considering it's also this is also this is also it's also an item box, and that's probably the only red ring I'll get from my first run of this level. 17 lives now. To 18. A lot of lives. However, there is one more stage during this time, uh, during this update, where you could get a ton of a little ton of lives, especially if you want to get ready for that. At the next stage, and there's that one spring to uh, to the end of the level, I suppose. Yes, I'm right. There's the giant um, animal container of animals. Although I could have like probably hit it while Sonic was skydiving. But even though those points don't mean a thing. Not too bad. Mata voice chip ga mendoksai koto ni. Kotsan desu. Oyakata no chan ko wa sekai ichi desu. Konatta no mo zenbu kisama no sei ja zo. Kuroi shite mitsuketa yatsura no yowami o keritobashi o te. Hora gai no hasuru shiu hasu ga kare ra no chikara o yokusei shite tan da ne. Sono tori ja. Yatsu ga jima o kuruwasu mezurashii tokusei o motte oru. Tsumari denshi kiki o kuruwashi jiyuu ni ayasureru toyu wake ja. Washi no meka mo reigai dewa nai. Dakara ano horagai de seigyo shite otta no ja. Moto wa to eba omae no seu daro. Kondo wa nani o takuranderu nda? Washi shiran kada na. Katte ni sei. Ok, ja kou shio. Konkai no gain ga Eggman da to omo hito. Te o agete kure. Yeah, one of my favorite scenes of that game. <laughs> it's again Sonic, and of course his younger brother Tails, or I'll say his adopted younger brother Tails, joining him with the sarcastic jokes as I get a stealth play, a stealth uh, plane, stealth jet, stealth bomber-looking kind of a plane. 
acting Call of Duty terms at this point. <laughs> uh, so at this point, I'm just going to be shuffling through items and uh, as again on the radar. So we'll just skip to that and get back to the action right now as we move on to the second zone of Tropical Coast. And I believe we have a cutscene. Yes, we do. あの小賢しいハリネズミを葬ってからのようじゃのマスターチックあなた様の手を煩わせるまでもありませんここは我々でうんむような気遣いじゃってえっえっえっこやつらよりは頼りになるじゃろ And so now, as we begin Tropical Coast Zone 2, and of course one of the levels here, one of my favorite ones, and as here, as you can see this little, um, before I continue, as I was saying earlier, with that red circle thing, I just activated, out of curiosity, one of those radar items, which of course, um, sort of depending on, on, on the star, on its, on its strength, denoted by those stars when you use the item. On the, of course, on the world map, of course, uh, what you call it, uh, they blink as soon as you're close to a red ring. So right here, I've noticed by heart that there's a red ring right there. As you can see, as you get a little closer, it'll start blinking. And then once you pick it up, the, the effect wears off, and then you're off to... You might be required to use another of those radar items and to find another red ring. So as I was saying earlier, we are now introduced to perhaps the Sensei or the Shifu or or sensei, Japanese, Shifu, Chinese, the sensei figure of, grandmaster figure of uh, the Deadly Six, Master Zik, Master Zik, and as we could, as following the pattern, as following the pattern in the remaining levels, the last couple of, uh, two, uh, two other worlds, of course, to expect another showdown between Sonic, or I would say another, a showdown, the first showdown between Sonic and Master Zik. At the end of this level, grandfather sensei type of sorts. And speaking of of the uh, sweets back in dessert zone, I mean dessert ruins zone three. We have a level dedicated to. Fruits. We got a watermelon. We have an apple. We got some oranges. Fairly delicious over desserts, I would say. <laughs> it's always about the food. Yeah, I don't consider myself an eater in the first place. Especially my metabolism. My own metabolism is quite low. <laughs> I bite quite slow. So of course I want to. Well, of course I really enjoy saying you know just doing a simpler exercise is running. Um, badminton. Some a little bit of tennis as well. So as just following the the obvious logic of the cell, trying to um, get that watermelon to that um, that that fan there, so then we could create another. Um, path of food, a, a juicy pathway of sorts leading to the next um, planetoid of sorts. I mean, that's the, even the right term, planetoid. I mean, the, after all, as, we, as we've as we seen in the beginning, or at least as how we, from the Japanese script, Lost Hex is, a, is at least according to Tails, but Tails has continent of illusions, a magic, magic continent of illusions with its own, I'm uh, thinking science here, <laughs> with its own really unique uh, gravity to that of the planet, the fruit of that other planet that it floats on. Very appropriate music to to accompany this level, Tropical Ghost Zone 2. And got a little easy red ring right there. There can be quite easy to look at, to uh, to to miss. So as we now 
here, you know, go back to, uh, you know, revisit uh, or reunite um, another classic quest from Sonic Colors, the Rocket, which is only unfortunately limited to uh, Tropical Coast Zone. Um, of course, allows uh, Sonic to go from planet to planet to planet to planet to planet. To planet, to planet. And uh, in a few cases, at, interestingly, you can die while using the rockets. If you don't have any, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't aim, if you don't, I'm just, uh, if you, if you're on, if, give it on, when you're on a planetoid and you don't, and you find yourself unable to aim towards another planetoid or say another of those uh, little uh, star balloons, which of course concealed within them are uh, cannons, which of course uh, allow you to uh, go to uh, another, direct you to another planetoid. You can die by just going off off stage, off screen. It happened to me several times, interestingly. <laughs> So this is one of the ways, one of the one of the ways where you could actually die from using them if you use them the wrong way. That is, <laughs> of course, all the action here involves using the gamepad as a more of like a shoot and aim kind of a scenario. As, uh, as you can see, there right on top of an apple is Master Zick. And we got ourselves a little showdown. Of course, uh, this, the logic, the strategy is simple. There is another fan on the other side of this little planet toy, and we just have to direct him right there. The attacks are not they are, are not that uh, hard to dodge. There's a little spike right there. Of course, get hit, roll over. And there goes Master Sick. Now, ideally here, interestingly, Master Sick takes a while to, as you can see right there, Master Sick takes a while to, uh, to, uh, fly off to the other side. So, and then he so bef before one finds himself um, body slammed, oh that was actually a quick fight, I actually didn't expect probably another one one on one blow or so, but uh, as I was saying, before one decides to, uh, you know, finds himself either body slammed or body slamming Master Sick and taking unnecessary damage in the process, it's better off to go early and then get ready to attack from there as soon as he comes. And of course he also got those little uh, little energy ball blasts that he fires off from his little staff, which is of course easy to dodge. It's actually not, not to rush so fast. And we got a little hovercraft of sorts. Not sure of its actual uh, purpose in two-player, but uh, it's useful for something. Anyway, that concludes as yes, we unlocked the third zone of Tropical Coast. That's all for now. As uh, right now, I'll probably, or probably direct myself to that next stage couple of uh, items to check, as well as Omachao and whatnot. But once again, this is Shadow of Black Lord 7X, and until next time, see you soon. Oh, so